Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare this week between November 17th and 21st, part two. Get back to Wednesday where we left off where we found that one in five Americans are actually not getting CT scans for lung cancer screenings even though they are eligible. Researchers note that extending coverage to those who are previous smokers but are no longer eligible may actually end up saving lives over time due to the ability to screen for cancer earlier. Moving on, a new poll from the Pew Research Survey suggests that most Americans are still confident in vaccines being beneficial for their children, but the debate and division is widening based off of political party. One of the ones that had the biggest changes was the MMR vaccine, which had a 91% support amongst Republicans in 2016, compared to now where it's up to about 76% about 10 years later. The biggest change that everyone talked about on Thursday was the CDC's asterisk next to their vaccines do not cause autism, saying that there are still associations that have not been ruled out when it comes to autism and vaccines. Lastly, New Zealand on Friday removed hormone blockers as a possible treatment for children under the age of 18 starting December 19th, making it one of the other countries along with the UK to do so. That's all the major news for this week. If you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get links to all the articles as well as a more in-depth analysis and you'll help support me as a medical student. I will see you later for the rest of the news.